fit you, like and subscribe. JW Solar USA in Minnesota. All right, guys, I'm taking this stuff out, but it seems like it's not stopping. But I'm gonna try to do this. Maybe I can. Let's see. Let's go sideways. Throw this one on the other side. Throw this guy on the other side. Check this out. What we have here? Ha! Huh. Looks like MPP solar stuff. Communication, wire, and CD. Well, check this out. Another inverter here. Um, these are the specification. It says the model number is the PS 5K 5000 kilo 5000 volt amp. So this is the international version again. Then this one said it came from China. All right, these things come from different places. But I got a good deal on this one. Um, I can't resist. I'm not gonna use this for myself, but I got it for someone uh, for international. So that's why it's not MPP Solar. MPP Solar, I would um, recommend that one. And I've used it before, like I was saying, but this is a kind of off-brand or unmarked. PS 5K VA silver and this is no um the rated inverters five five thousand volt amp to four thousand watts is a 48 volt model is um eight um 80 amp charge controller mppt and uh rated current here for charging solar charger it says 50 on the specification it says um I think it's a 6080, something like that, or 5080. When you change it to, uh, you want it to run full max, it goes to 80. That's what um, the specification said. So the, the battery requires is uh, 87 amps DC input, but um, according to the uh, registration and specification, specification details, and now I'm looking at this kind of a little bit different. So the VOC for the max VOC on solar, now it's telling me here it 105 volt. I'm not sure if this thing is really MPPT or maybe it's an MPWM. But uh, if you guys um, have any idea how you figure it out, let me know because I don't think it doesn't say anything here at all. So this is deceiving because it says a 145 um, volt DC that the max input, but we have to power it up and see how, what is there, what is not there. And uh, we have to run the CD to a computer to see all the other spe specifications. Sometimes when you go into this guy just on the front screen right here, it doesn't give you all the other option. You can't see it. So we'll have to test it if it works. Because of this, it's kind of deceiving right now. And it says a five five thousand watts. So it's rated five rated power is five thousand volt amp. It's not like five this is a four kilowatt. So that gives me a little concern here. And uh this is what it is. Like I said, it's already marked like it's um, um how am I gonna say it? Like an open box. So you can see some of the other stuff here was already popped and uh, it has all this. And uh, let's see how this thing's gonna work. Well, since brand new, you can just tell maybe it's a uh, kind of display model. This is where the inputs and everything, communication, 
RS-232 connect to the computer, which is this wire right here. Plug that Ethernet port right here. The 232 goes to the computer. You have to have that. If you don't have that, recent computers don't have those. So old computers. Here is the solar coming in here, the PV inputs. And here is for the batteries. And here is the AC. It's a breaker right here. The AC output, AC inputs here. So let's try and put this guy here. Seems like it's kind of decent. We just have to power it up and see how everything works for us. Live here at the JW Solar USA. Like I said, it's made in China. What is made in Taiwan? I trust what is made in Taiwan. Doesn't look like it's already it's ever been mounted or anything. But um, you never know if it's burnt or anything. I don't know. The plastic is still here. So we're going to see what we're going to do and test it. I will get back to you guys. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA live in Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. And stay tuned. In the weekend, I'll power this thing up. And we can see from there. It's a 230 volt international not for the US. You can use it, but you have to use a step down transformer. Does it make no sense for you to use loss um, efficiency by using a transformer? I'm not recommending people using transformer by the US version. When they started making them, it's only a 230. They have mostly been utilized in Australia and other part of the world that use a 240. But Australia was utilizing more of this before we started have that kind of leverage here in the US started making the 120 and 240 or 220 all right see you guys on the next video bye for now